Next, layers of clay and sandstone are blasted loose to expose the underlying ore. Once the ore is exposed, huge shovels able to remove 40 tons in a single pass dig the earth or overburden away. The ore is then loaded onto trucks, the modern day descendants of Death Valley's giant wagons. Empty, each truck weighs as much as 75 automobiles. Fully loaded, it can carry almost 200 tons of dirt, nearly 10 times as much as the original 20 mule teams. Satellites in Earth orbit track the exact location of the trucks and shovels so their movements can be carefully coordinated. The ore is then carried to a crusher that smashes the boulders into bits about the size of grapefruits. It then drops onto a conveyor belt and is carried to the surface and placed in stockpiles. The process of refining begins when bucket wheel excavators dig the ore out of its stockpiles. The ore is crushed into nuggets about the size of walnuts. Boiling hot water awaits, dissolving the borates and removing insoluble impurities through a series of screens and giant heated settling tanks. The hot solution is pumped into vessels where it cools, forming crystals of pure borax. These crystals are washed and heated in rotary dryers to drive off any remaining free water. The finished product is then sent to storage facilities, which include two giant domes capable of holding 40,000 tons of borax. Each day, thousands of tons of borates leave boron on a fleet of over 700 borax-owned rail cars. They are bound for destinations across America and toward the company's Wilmington Port Facility in Los Angeles Harbor. At Wilmington, borax is also processed. Some of the product is loaded into container ships that cross the Pacific to the countries of Asia.